Whenever Elon Musk steps onto a stage to reveal a new generation of Tesla robots, the internet goes absolutely wild. The buzz is instant. Before the public even gets to see the real thing, most people still can't believe that a humanoid robot capable of human-like movement and manipulation could ever exist. But that disbelief fades fast, because now, the Tesla bot Gen 3 has finally proven that it's real. Elon Musk officially revealed a flood of updates and long-awaited plans for the Tesla bot Gen 3 at Tesla's 2025 annual shareholder meeting. And if everything goes smoothly, Tesla could begin selling the Tesla bot Gen 3 later this very year. That's right, this version marks a gigantic leap forward, especially in the hand and manipulation capabilities that Tesla has been working on for years. Musk said it himself, the scale of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time, bigger than cell phones. That's not just confidence, it's a declaration. But Gen 3 isn't just about walking or recognizing surroundings. It's about superhuman precision, flawless movement, and next-level intelligence. This robot can assist in healthcare, take care of your home, serve customers in hotels or restaurants, and even perform tasks in flexible manufacturing fields where most robots today can only stand and observe. Before we go further, backhand index pointing right hit the subscribe button right now and turn on the bell icon, because what you're about to hear will completely change how you think about robots and the future of work. In today's episode, we'll dive deep into three key questions. First, why is Tesla focusing so heavily on the Gen 3's hand manipulation system? Second, what's it going to cost, and who can actually afford one? And finally, how much better is it than its predecessor? Is the Gen 3 truly worth the hype? Welcome to Tech Drive. In the past, Tesla mostly focused on making the robot walk, balance, and see. Just like they carefully select the perfect batteries for Tesla cars, the early Optimus bots were built with precision and safety in mind. But with Gen 3, the target has changed. This isn't about walking, it's about working. It's about grasping, holding, lifting, and performing complex human tasks with almost artistic accuracy. Elon Musk himself admitted that building a human-like hand is the hardest part of this entire mission. He even said that up to 70% of Tesla's resources might be dedicated to perfecting this one element, the hand. There are three things that are super difficult about robots, Musk said. One is the engineering of the forearm and hand because the human hand is an incredible thing. The Gen 2 bot was already impressive. It could grasp objects and mimic simple human actions. But to be truly useful in healthcare, household work, or manufacturing, Tesla needed a breakthrough. And that's exactly what Gen 3 represents, a monumental leap in precision and reliability. According to leaks, the Tesla bot Gen 3 achieves millimeter-level accuracy and 24-7 performance with zero fatigue. No tremors, no delay, no hesitation. It's built to handle delicate tasks with near-human, or even superhuman, precision. We all know the truth, the real challenge for any robot isn't walking, it's the hand. The hand is the final frontier that decides whether a robot can truly replace human labor. And that's exactly what Tesla is solving. A 22, degree, of, freedom robotic hand that feels, reacts, and coordinates like a real one, that's the dream. It's what allows the Gen 3 to not just move objects, but to manipulate them intelligently and naturally. Elon Musk knows most companies can make a robot walk or turn. But to make a robot that can button a shirt, hold a scalpel, or make breakfast, that's where the real challenge lies. That's why Gen 3 is not just a robot, it's a human-level assistant. With 22 degrees of freedom and advanced haptic feedback, it can sense texture, pressure, and movement like never before. Imagine a robot that could serve in hospitals, support the elderly, cook your dinner, clean your house, or even assist in surgery, all with flawless precision and calm mechanical confidence. That's Optimus Gen 3. Tesla's vision here is bold, while other companies chase walking and balance, Tesla is going after the hand, the one element that connects technology directly to human life. And this isn't just about science or tech. This is about economics. The large-scale productivity Musk talks about doesn't come from hundreds of robots walking around, it comes from robots that can work like humans with flexible hands that can handle any task. That's the difference between an expensive toy, and an economic revolution. 
Elon even described the new hand as, V3 is another level beyond this. The V2 hand already achieved functional human dexterity. But V3? It's aiming for something even beyond human precision, superhuman accuracy and industrial grade reliability. Now imagine this, a robot capable of performing microsurgeries, handling fragile materials, working in toxic or extreme environments, all without shaking, tiring, or failing. That's the leap from V2 to V3, the transformation from a useful robot to a superior economic worker. Because in the world of robotics, it's not about having legs, it's about having hands that can do what we do, but better. To make this happen, Tesla's engineers had to rethink everything. They upgraded manipulation ability while simplifying internal components. The result? A robot that's powerful yet affordable. And when it comes to affordability, the big question everyone's asking is, what will it cost? According to Musk, once Tesla reaches a mass production level of over 1 million units annually, the price per robot could drop to just $20,000. That's right. $20,000 for a robot that can walk, talk, work, and think. If this becomes reality, it's not just a step forward, it's the beginning of the robot age. Every household, every factory, every hospital could have an Optimus assistant. And that's exactly Musk's plan. Speech Balloon If you're loving this insight so far, smash the like button and subscribe to Tech Drive, because in part 2, we're going even deeper into how Optimus Gen 3 actually learns, adapts, and evolves just like a human being. Let's dive right back into the story, because what comes next truly defines the future of robotics. Tesla's Gen 3 isn't just built to move. It's designed to work, to think, and to improve every single day. Elon Musk believes this generation will prove once and for all that humanoid robots aren't science fiction anymore, they're the next big leap for human civilization. Once the Tesla bot Gen 3 hits production, Musk expects it to be the fastest scale-up of any complex product in history. He's not talking about thousands or even hundreds of thousands, he's talking millions. His vision? A factory in Fremont capable of producing 1 million robots a year, scaling that up to 10 million, then a hundred million, and eventually, a billion robots, even on Mars. And while that might sound like a wild dream, Musk insists he's dead serious. He knows what it takes to revolutionize industries. He did it with Tesla cars, he did it with rockets, and now, he's betting everything on robots. But to reach that scale, Tesla must build a massive chip factory. Because every single robot will rely on powerful AI chips, and Musk refuses to depend on external suppliers. He said, we'll probably have to build a giant chip factory. This is something we have to do. This means Tesla is no longer just a car or energy company, it's transforming into a global AI powerhouse, capable of producing both the brains and the body of the future. And Musk's vision goes far beyond simple automation. He believes AI and robotics could expand the global economy tenfold, maybe even a hundredfold. Imagine that, a world where robots help build, create, heal, and serve, giving humans more time to live, think, and explore. But of course, every dream comes with its challenges. Building millions of robots means managing massive supply chains, ensuring cybersecurity, reducing costs, and most importantly, keeping everything safe, transparent, and ethical. Because if these robots can work like humans, people will naturally ask will they also replace humans? That's a fair concern. Tesla has to prove that these machines are here to help, not replace us. So let's get technical for a second. The Gen 3 hand isn't just a fancy upgrade, it's a mechanical masterpiece. It's built around multi-joint control, haptic sensors, and high-precision actuators that work together like a symphony. Each finger moves independently, but they also communicate in perfect sync. That's what gives Gen 3 its millimeter-level precision. It can pick up a glass of water without spilling, type on a keyboard, or perform delicate operations that would normally take years of human training. And what makes this truly revolutionary is that Gen 3 can keep doing it non-stop. No fatigue, no shaking hands, no distraction, just pure consistency. In industrial testing, Gen 3 showed it could perform repetitive tasks for over 10,000 continuous hours, that's more than 10 years of service life in normal conditions. 
Compare that to older robots that usually last around 3,000 to 4,000 hours before performance drops. That's not just improvement, that's dominance. And when you look at maintenance, Gen 3's design is incredibly efficient. The materials are wear-resistant, heat-proof up to 200 degrees Celsius, and chemically stable, meaning it doesn't overheat or break down easily, even in tough environments. From cold European factories to humid Asian warehouses, Gen 3 keeps working like it's day one. The only limitation right now seems to be an extreme cold, below minus 20 degrees Celsius. The robot's hands lose a bit of haptic sensitivity and reaction speed in freezing environments. But Tesla's already working on thermal adaptive materials to fix that in future versions. And that's the beauty of Tesla's approach, evolution never stops. Every year, a new generation. Gen 4 expected in 2027. Gen 5 in 2028. Each one stronger, smarter, and faster than before. Now, let's talk about how the Tesla bot learns. Because this part sounds like pure science fiction, but it's happening right now. At Tesla's AI lab in Palo Alto, the Optimus bots are trained almost 20 hours a day. But instead of being manually programmed, they're trained using what Musk calls the Simturial method. Basically, Optimus learns the same way humans do, by observing, practicing, and improving. It can watch tutorial videos, observe real people performing tasks, and then simulate those actions inside a virtual environment. There, it makes mistakes, analyzes them, and keeps improving until it gets every motion perfectly right. This continuous self-learning cycle allows Gen 3 to master new skills every day, from making a sandwich to setting a table or cleaning a kitchen. It's like having a personal assistant that learns your habits and preferences automatically, without any coding or configuration. Backhand index pointing right if you're excited about what you're hearing, hit that subscribe button again and turn on notifications, because you're witnessing the birth of a revolution. Now, here's the most mind-blowing part, Gen 3 can relearn and adapt on its own. If it drops an object, it analyzes the failure, adjusts grip strength, and tries again, just like a human would. This is not just robotics. This is machine learning merging with human intuition. And if Tesla truly achieves its $20,000 goal, it means one thing, the Tesla bot will become as common as smartphones are today. Imagine walking into a restaurant and being served by an Optimus. Or visiting a hospital where half the staff are Tesla bots assisting doctors. Or coming home to your own personal assistant that can cook dinner, clean up, and help your kids with homework, all at the same time. That's not fantasy anymore. That's the direction we're heading. The Gen 3 hand, with its super precision, durability, and adaptive control, is Tesla's biggest competitive advantage in the humanoid race. Each hand can perform thousands of different tasks without needing separate programming for each one, saving time, money, and complexity on a massive scale. It also uses eco-friendly materials, with a large portion of its joints and casing made from recycled compounds. The result? A robot that uses 95% less energy during production compared to traditional materials, massively reducing its carbon footprint. In the lab, Tesla engineers even tested it under extreme stress, impacts, vibrations, compression, and the Gen 3 hand still performed flawlessly. That kind of stability means it can be trusted for surgical tasks, industrial precision work, or long-term care, without any risk of failure. This robot isn't just another product. It's the foundation of an entirely new economy. The era of human-robot collaboration, where machines handle the hard work, and humans focus on creativity, innovation, and exploration. Musk often says that one day, people will look back and realize that the Tesla bot was the most important invention of the 21st century, even more than the electric car or reusable rockets. And maybe, he's right. Because the line between man and machine is blurring faster than ever, and Tesla is leading that transformation. So, what about you? Would you want a Tesla bot Gen 3 in your home or workplace? And more importantly, what's the highest price you'd be willing to pay for it? Let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching Tech Drive, your home for everything Tesla, AI, and future technology. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications, so you don't miss the next major update.
And trust us, the next reveal is only days away. Because in the world of Elon Musk, the future never stops coming. Goodbye, and we'll see you in the next episode.